Women set the standard. Everything and everyone must adjust to a woman. Gentle woman. Okay, so if you wouldn't put all of your money into a broken vending machine, why would you put your all into a broken man who gives you nothing in return? So I think it's important for women to realize, people to realize in general, that you have to exercise the same common sense you, ex you exercise on your job, you exercise in your education, in your relationships. You can't demand a man six feet that makes six figures and has a six pack if you have bad feet no figure and drink six packs. I like it. Right? I like it. You've got to meet your own checklist. That's pretty solid. That's good <laughs> stuff. And you can hear a lot more tomorrow night. It's about balance, just like she mentioned. And there is nothing wrong with accepting femininity and embracing it. Because yeah. I think it's been positioned where it's a negative thing. Femininity is, again, it's, it's shown as something, or displayed as something is weak. It is but very it's, powerful, it's gorgeous actually. and it's powerful. Absolutely. And if you tap into that power, I mean, women run this thing, you know? Come on, we, women, we do. women there, there is a power there yeah. that I men agree. don't have. Yeah. There's a power there that oh, we just... Oh, look at her. She over there. No, no, I'm, I'm being over honest. There. She over there. Ah. That's Amen Corner over Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I'm being honest, and I think it's, uh, I think God created that something special in women, and a lot of women are just neglecting that special thing, and that's what attracts us to them. Fariola S. You said it right. The contemporary gentleman and etiquette book for the urban sophisticate. Great little book too. I was uh, I was I was perusing, and uh, he even looks just as good on the cover here. Very dapper. As as he does in person. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is dapper. Yeah. Oh, Do feet matter? God, yes. Oh, what? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hiding some, you know, ugly feet behind a pair of Louis Vuittons is like having a, a Louis Vuitton purse with no money in it. You oh. know? It's the uh, those small private aspects yeah. about a woman that yeah. matter the most. Really, the details. A woman's bathroom, a woman's oh, feet. Just, uh, yes, That's yes. The first place you go. And let me just say for the record, what is good for the goose is good for the gander because oh. boys' bathrooms are usually a hot mess. That's right. That's why I have a boys. Bathroom. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matt, gentlemen, thank you so much for waiting. This was fun. Denise and Bariola's presentation of the Well-Dressed Man Initiative was impeccable. In it, he described why, as African Americans, one, we need professionalism, and two, how to look good doing it. Aside from a free copy of his book, I now genuinely appreciate style, grace, and professionalism. States are free. Sunset by the water with wine. Costs you nothing. Bottle of wine, five dollars. Take a look outside, you know, your schools, your churches, your I mean the grocery store or whatever, there's there's a lack of there's a huge lack of etiquette. You know, there's a lack of my mission to let men know that you maintain your authentic self. You just you know, you include manners in your lifestyle and etiquette. Conduct yourself in a manner that's respectful to both you and society. That's all, that's all a gentleman is. It's, it's simple. This goes out to you, and you, and you. Quit saying all men are the same. And start saying I date the same type of men. Quit showing up with a full face of makeup. Just a fake sweat at the gym. Quit posting pics from the neck up. Pretending to be slim. <laughs> the cut and paste isn't a workout. And Photoshop isn't a gym. Quit bleaching your beautiful face on Instagram talking about team light skin. Quit fronting with a lace front. And just let your natural hair win. Quit focusing on all that's shallow and ignoring your beauty within. Fake hair, fake breasts, fake nails, injected lips. But you only demand real men? Quit acting like you're interested. You chase her until she gives in. Then after the unprotected sex, you say, I just want to be friends. Quit calling the broken hearted girl crazy. 
You weren't saying all that back when. She used to be cool. She used to be sane. You caused her to change within. Quit acting like that baby isn't yours. Quit saying she's been with other men. Quit blaming this all on your father. You're 25. He left when you were 10. Quit saying you're a grown ass man. Yet you neglect the responsibilities of grown men. Quit blaming this all on karma. Karma's only a bitch if you are, my friend. Let's quit all these contradictions. Quit giving up on each other on a whim. We're at war acting like we don't need each other. When she's all you need in this life of sin. Let's quit this Venus vs. Mars talk. Let's quit acting like there's always something to defend. Let's take greater strides. Let's swallow our pride. Man needs woman, and she needs him. I need that article. He spoke nothing but the truth. But he spoke the truth in everything he said. I want that article. Okay, I'm going to post it on the uh, the Russ Park Morning Show dot com. Uh, this is it's called Communication Killed Assumption. Mm-hmm. Pretty deep stuff. I really. Enjoy- I wanted to say that article is so true. I just ended an 18 year relationship pretty much because of everything in that article. No communication whatsoever. So that article is so true. Wow. Right. Mm-hmm. But the bottom line is, is that you know th- this article is really good. But- I absolutely. I absolutely love that. I need a copy immediately, and it's so, so true. We'll it's put it up on say. the RussBarmorningShow.com. <laughs> the article's called Communication Killed Assumption. And his name is Bariola, but his book is Bariola Ask the Contemporary Gentleman an Etiquette Book for the Urban Sophisticate. Okay, I'm digging this. Mm-hmm. We'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> I'm very impressed with you because you're considerably younger than me, and I'm amazed at the wisdom that you bring forth. And, and I'm learning a lot. I mean, I'm learning, too. You know, I don't want to repeat, you know, my divorce, so I'm learning a lot, too. So I, I thank you for what you're doing. It really is a ministry.